In this example, we're going to use an array of counters to keep track of game contestants, uh, a tally of the number of correct answers. Um, so we set up our score array um, with three different uh, integer values, three different counters. Uh, we're going to initialize all three to zero. Uh, there's two ways we can do that. We could do it this way. Uh, or uh, just with the braces itself, uh, if we don't specify anything, it will initialize an array to zero uh, doing this. So we have three different values, uh, score sub zero, one and two, uh, which will be counters initialized to zero. Now, they correspond to contestants zero, one, and two <coughs> who are going to answer questions. And if we get a question right, uh, we're going to do a CN contestant. Okay. And what happens, the key is this one counter statement right here where we're going to take score sub, whoever the contestant is, we're going to be prompted to enter the score's contestant number, so 0, 1, or 2, uh, or negative 1 to quit. So if we put in, say, contestant 0, this counter statement would be score sub 0, plus equal 1 is just a shortcut notation for saying score sub 0 equals score sub 0 uh, plus 1. Okay, so we can just do plus equal one. That'll add one to score sub zero. The the, the zeroth contestant's uh, tally uh, of their score. Okay, and then we'll ask for another contestant score. So if zero, one, or two gets it right, we'll type that in. If the game is over, we'll type in negative one, and we'll get a tally at the end. For that, we have this for loop, and we'll just go from zero up to three. Okay, incremented by one, uh, and we'll say contestant number, whichever one it is, each time through the loop, zero, one, and two, got whatever their score is, score sub i. So score sub zero, score sub one, or score sub two. We'll give the count of the number they got correct. Let's try this out and see how it works. So we'll do compile and run. And I'll just say for the sake of argument, uh, zero get several questions right and now contestant one uh, gets a few uh, contestant two gets several right maybe zero gets one two gets another one uh, and then the game is over so we'll put in negative one that'll quit and if we got our tallies right contestant number zero uh, got eight correct so we could count those uh, contestant one got three and contestant two uh, got four okay so it's just an array of counters um, and the key here is the subscript corresponds to their contestant number that makes it a little bit easier uh, to keep those uh, counters straight and meaningful um, for their purpose just one more thing to point out notice we did use a while loop once and a for loop uh, the second time, well, why did he do that? The while loop, we don't know how many uh, questions there's going to be in the contest, so um, we, we don't know ahead of time how many, um, so we have a sentinel control loop. Notice uh, the priming input uh, and the loop input, so we use a while loop um, uh, to control uh, for, the, for that first loop uh, because we want sentinel controlled. Uh, in other words, however many questions they ask, we'll, we'll keep track of. And then for the second loop, we, we, we know how many contestants there are, and we're just going to uh, enumerate through the array, okay, each element of the array. So we know uh, we can use a for loop because we're going from 0 to 2, 0, 1, and 2. Um, okay, so that was just uh, one other little use uh, for arrays.